It's getting pretty dark. I guess what we have for an ember light up. I don't know if you can see it real well, but it looks like it's angel eye effect on this ox beam. Um, this light bar, I believe, is rough for about 10 inches. I'll give you some detail later. But here it's how it shines. So it doesn't shine really well. Uh, I don't think the amber part is there to uh, actually, you know, project light. It's just for accent. But when you take the positive and connect the actual light, you get this light, which is pretty nice. I'm pretty impressed how bright it is. So, um, I don't know. Stats lie or do not lie, but uh, so far I'm pretty happy with uh, what four LEDs put out. Uh, let's go inside and uh, get a little better look at the light. Let's review, we're gonna look at this 12 inch ox beam LED light. Uh, it is advertised as a 12 inch. It only has four light bulbs. And you're gonna see a light test that I did earlier that I recorded. So um, the amber that lights in here, it seems like to be the, for accent only and the actual white beam is the one that's actually lighting. One thing I wasn't sure about is you get three lights, or I mean three, uh, three, light, three light colored uh, wires here. I wasn't sure, usually you know it's the red is the positive, black is the negative, and yellow is the ignition in my case, in most cases, right? But here what they've done is basically the red is your white, the black is the ground obviously then, uh, as usual, and this one will be for the accent amber. Now, as I mentioned, amber is not really for your fog light capabilities, although it might help you, uh, but I'm not sure if you would wanna split up the three or how would that do, because you would have to do like a three-way switch. Now this kit does not come for 50 bucks. You get this light, um, you get a little bit of paperwork, you get the series instructions as far as how things should go as far as brackets and all, which I'm assuming all the hard work is in this box here. You get all the bells and whistles, all the bolts and nuts and whatnot. Um, and it does not look like some cheap hardware, by the way. Um, this actually looks pretty, uh, looks like, you know, pretty rigid, uh, legit bolts and nuts. If you want to put it that way and you get some stickers even with this product. You can take part of their um, power user program, they call it. So you can review stuff and they will send you maybe some product even for free for review like they did in my case. Now they came forth to me um, via YouTube contact and uh, just offered me some of their stuff for review. So right now I'm sitting here and I'm doing a couple of reviews. Um, earlier I did a recording for a through night uh, flashlight, which I ended up, uh, I guess, breaking during the drop test. It just quit working on me. But this light, um, overall, I'm pretty impressed with the quality. Now keep in mind, this thing is 50 bucks and literally, I wanna say it's a legit 50 bucks spent for the most part. Anything you're gonna find, you know, 50 bucks and under um, online is gonna have fairly cheap quality. I've done some of the lights before. Um, now this actually, you know, this is pretty hard, hard plastic here in the front. When you press on it, it you know, it doesn't flex as usually as most other um, lights would. There are cheaper quality. So this looks like a pretty good build quality overall. I really honestly want to just take a hammer to it and crack it open and see uh, what I could do with it. Uh, but I think uh, maybe utilize this for a project or something. What do you guys think? Maybe give the, do a giveaway or something, right? So um, overall, I would suggest you guys check in Oxbeam. I think it's really a worthwhile uh, brand to give a chance to, to look at for install on your own uh, rig. Definitely would work on any of your side-by-sides, uh, um, you know, four-wheelers, and I think this could even fit somewhere in a dirt bike even, right? But definitely something could be mounted on uh, an expedition rig or like a Jeep on a bumper front or rear. Um, Maybe even underlighting, right? But it's kind of big for underlighting. But overall, so these are fairly large LEDs. You can see through there what's going on in there. But this is pretty nice. So I'm going to give it a thumbs up. For 50 bucks, definitely a worthwhile purchase. So check them out.